a man's job is never done until he's collected his acorns and mine will be done when I've collected all these acorns and processed them into edible food and it's just the best way to get one back at those pesky squirrels because I know squirrels can be quite cute but if you've ever grown vegetables or fruits in your garden they can be a real pest but this is like hey this is for you squirrels I'm eating your food I will leave them a few though I will leave them a few because I'm not that I'm not that evil I will leave the squirrels a few maybe five or six Now the reason I was wearing a helmet in the introduction scene was because there were so many acorns falling that day from the oak tree above because it's quite a windy day and acorns are quite aerodynamically shaped as well and when they hit your head they can really ping your head. Anyhow back to how to make acorn bread from acorns and the reason for this video in the first place was because this year there were so many acorns, so many more acorns than last year, and apparently it's known as a mass year. And a mass year is when seed bearing trees, such as oak trees, drastically increase the number of acorns that they normally produce. So I thought, what could I do with all these acorns? So I researched it and I found out that you can actually eat acorns, but you need to process them first to make them safe to eat and get rid of all the bitter tannins. And in this video, I'll show you step by step how to do that and also how I made a loaf of bread with them. And there you go, there's a few here. There is a few floating to the surface. And those ones are the dodgy ones, so we don't want those. So this is a quick way of getting rid of them. So this is, this is a scoop at the floating ones. And you get rid of all the, the leaves and the, the extra bits. So these are the acorns that I've sorted and I've kept them in this box in my house for about three weeks so they can dry out a bit. And they're so much easier to crack the shells off now that they've died out. And I'll, let me show you how I do it. And this is the task that you can do while you're watching the TV in the evening. And so all, of, all I'm using is, uh, these are actually wire clippers, but uh, you could probably use a pair of pliers. And I'm just using these just to crack the, uh, the shell. So I go from like the top of the acorn, just crack it off like that. And then the other side, the bottom of it, and just like squeeze the the shell and it just comes out oh look so much easier look at that and within about 45 minutes i managed to get about 160 grams of acorn kernels which was more than enough for what i needed leaching out the bitter tannins is the most important step because this is what will make your acorns safe to eat and there's two ways to do this the first way is to boil your acorns and keep replacing the boiling water three or four times until it runs clear. But boiled acorns don't make such good bread and they lose some of their flavor and nutrition as well. And also it's a more in energy intensive process than the second method, which is cold water leaching, which I decided to use. Now with the cold water leaching process, some websites will advise you to put your acorns in water, replace the water once or twice a day for up to two weeks. But I actually did this and I even cut my acorns into quarters. And after two weeks of replacing the water every day, I still found that there was a slight bitter aftertaste. So what I decided to do was to actually grind my acorns into a powder to give more surface area so it could speed up the leaching process. I ground them into a powder, put it into a jam jar and then stored it in my fridge. And then every morning I replaced the water. And I did this for about a week. And this is the result that I got. So I'm gonna taste it now just to see if I have got rid of all the tannins. So moment, moment of truth.
no bitter taste, no bitter taste at all. It doesn't taste as much to be honest. Before I could use the acorn meal in my bread recipe, I needed to drain as much water from it as possible using a fine mesh cloth. The resulting dough weighed in at 160 grams, which was sufficient to make a 500 gram loaf of bread when combined with two thirds of wheat flour. Acorn meal on its own doesn't make good bread, so it's best to combine it with two thirds or more of bread making flour. And because I was using acorn dough and not dry acorn meal in my mix, I knew I would have to reduce a certain amount of water from my recipe. I also decided to blend the acorn flour mixture thoroughly together using my blender. And here's the result and you can see that it's slightly darker color now and it's a much better consistency. So here's my recipe. I did reduce the water content by about 100 ml because my acorn meal already had some water in it. I mix all the ingredients together, I put them in the bread making machine container and put it into the bread maker and set my bread maker for a timer to start baking the bread at five o'clock the following morning. Something in my bones. Go, 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 go. It's my birthday. So I've got high expectations now. Wow, that is such a lovely smell. That is so much better than I was expecting. So here, here we go. The moment of truth. Let's have a look inside. Well, that is a bit disappointing. That is a bit disappointing. It's kind of gone, fl it's flattened. I don't know why it's gone flat. It smells so much better than it looks. Okay, let's, uh, let's get it out. That is the bread. But it's not as fluffy as I was hoping. It's not just the look, it's the taste that counts. It's still steaming actually. Finally, the proof of the pudding. How does it taste? It's edible. It tastes okay. I wouldn't say it's delicious because it's, it's a bit it's a bit too heavy. A bit, a bit rubbery a little bit. I was expecting it to be a bit more like like bread, I guess. 
I'm sure I can improve on this acorn bed by tweaking the ingredients slightly, for example, by doubling the amount of yeast to improve the texture, or maybe changing the amount of water, and even increasing the baking time. Because acorns vary from area to area, and no one recipe will be suitable for every type of acorn. I guess I'd give it probably four out of 10, if I was to score it. But some people might really love it. If you like heavy bread, which is a little bit rubbery, with a slight, very slight nutty aroma, then you'll love it. So there you go. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it informative. And if you did, please thumbs it up, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Squirrels, come and get your cake. Early Christmas cake.